Meanwhile, over here, sign's still running. It's all good. Oh, oh, uh, the electricity went yellow for a second there. Are we reaching the limits? That looks like a flat line there of reaching the, the like the top of the production capacity. Hmm. This is a bad thing. We might need to like set up a new engine column because I don't like to extend my columns beyond what I like my usual system because getting around them is a pain and stuff. Seems to be running okay now. Maybe I'm not paying enough attention because I keep looking between the line and the readout there. So it's running okay now, but a minute ago it wasn't. So yeah, it's it's running less than before because the assemblers are running less. Ah, it's because I switched on the wood production, of course. So they all switched on and that made things a lot worse. It's looking okay now. We've nearly got 50 chests, so this is basically done. But yeah, we could definitely do with some more steam engines. I'd like to get like a, a full set of four radars if I can, but that's asking a bit much, so... Hmm. Now, how to set up these um, engine columns, because I've sort of built everything in the way. Why did I put these electric poles one away from the engines? That's a bit weird of me. I'd usually put them right next to them. Let's, let's change that. Just de yeah, de disconnect all of these engines for a second, which is a, a really, really good idea. There we go, just shift everything along one, and now that's not connected. Fix that by just plonking one in the middle and hoping that works. We need lights. Can't see anything. Can we make lights now? Is that something we're capable of? It is! We need iron plates, iron sticks, and electronic circuits. So it's something that requires sticks then. Hmm. Because I don't know whether I need production of iron sticks. It's definitely, well, I, I know I do in some cases, like the, the pickaxes, but like, usually it's something you always just craft yourself. But in this particular case, of course you can't. So, just how much stuff needs iron sticks? Because you know, you never really notice, to be honest. Why does a shotgun require wood? Maybe because it's partially made of wood. Why are shotguns partially made of wood? Right, it looks like so far the only things that need iron sticks are lights and... Um, axes. So maybe we can just go for um, light production. But hmm. yeah, we'll make an iron stick assembly, but it'll be sort of on the side a bit. So we'll plonk that down and that. And hmm, I don't know about this having a steel axe thing. But yeah, we will make an assembly, an assembler. I was going to say, I don't know what I was going to say. That's for iron sticks, and this is for, where have they gone, lights. That needs stuff from both sides, of course, that just needs iron. So, just set it up like so. Oh, stick that in the middle of it all. Actually, let's, let's shift that. Stick it in the middle there, put the similar like that. And then I can do that. And I need a chest. Of course, I have um, a production area sort of dedicated to them at this point, so that's easy. And that's going to supply me for many, many episodes to come. So there we go. I've got light production. If it actually goes, which it isn't going because there's no iron. Where's the iron? Is it all being... Yeah, it's all being taken up here. Yep. Hmm. Again, we need the advanced material processing. What's the status on that? We have stocks of stuff. We have gears. We have conveyor belts. We have no assemblers. Why is that? Oh, because they haven't been made yet. We've still got plenty of actual supply. We could do with a bit more iron for the gears for the blue, the, the, the red signs, maybe. Steel. But not steel, it's iron. And I'll grab that. Yes, we have a full stack. Awesome. Nice. We can use that for things and stuff. And plonk. Okay, that should keep that going for a, a nice while. We've got to keep the signs going. We've got to get the advanced material processing so that we can do things and stuff. I've said that uh, like twice in a minute. That's no good. What little amusement can, can be derived has already been derived. So once we get that going, we will have... The, well, I suppose we'll, we will have five 
Uh, the the well, meh. I'm gonna start again. We need to build two more of these, I think, in order to to meet all the requirements. Maybe a, a, a third one to just keep all of the furnaces going once we've upgraded them. Also, we might need to upgrade the iron, the the the, the coal mining. It looks like definitely because it's running down right now. Apparently, how has that even happened? But yeah, we'll, we'll put an electric mining drill in for that. Come on. There's not even any conveyor belts now. Maybe I should have just revamped the iron mining system because this is taking an absolute age. But I do need to build a new system for this. Right, while I wait for all this to happen, I'm going to go scouting and see what the... Actually, just before I set off, I will refuel these furnaces in case they run out while I'm gone. Because that would be no good at all. Okay, off we go. So, we want a big open space. Ooh, lots of forest there. That's good, that's good. We can build something near that or in that. And it will absorb a lot of the pollution. But I'm thinking somewhere in the south would be a good idea to set up a big production line. Just because it's big and open and empty. Like my first series. Because that was a beautiful map for that. The, the space was awesome. And it was great for driving around and building in and everything. But yeah, down here, this is just open now. If you look on the map, it just goes and, and just keeps going. I've been through this before, I suppose, because I went... This is from scouting everywhere, but if we just keep walking... Let's see if it actually ends at any point, really, because it could just be a, a huge desert that goes on for absolutely miles. Still going. Oh yes, this is where we're building the production line. I've decided. I don't need to look any further. Because it'll, it'll, it's going to take ages to get back now. I'm wondering if I should split production, because it's different this time than usual. You should have like one big production line using parallel processing, or the tree method, as, as I named it. and Other people probably also named it. Um, but then, um, because there's sort of... There's going to be a bunch of things that I always need to grab off the lines. And so may I'm wondering if I should have like a science line, which is out of the way and I don't need to go see very often. And then like a, a mm, just a line for making tools and all sorts of things that I need, like um, machines and stuff. And then that is where I go to resupply. And then eventually I get logistics and it doesn't matter where anything is because I can just get them to delivered to me by robots. Then again, maybe not because there's so many different things that I need delivering to me that even the fully upgraded logistics menu might not have enough squares to give me everything, which will be an absolute pain, but it's something I'll just have to deal with, I suppose. Maybe they'll, they'll uh, allow more logistics stuff in later updates and things. Because I know they did a lot of work on sort of refining logistics in, in the 0.10 updates because they needed it. In fact, that's the point. This episode this episode's going to come out after 0.11 has come out. You should have seen my update um, overview video by now. How did it go? Was it cool? I hope it was cool because that's the plan. I like it to be cool. So maybe there's changes to logistics in that. I don't know because... It, like, it's all about the, the the main few things, like multiplayer and tanks and so on, uh, and gates. But there's always, well, you, you can usually expect it to be a bunch of little things that they haven't mentioned because they're not big enough to be, like, the big important thing that's happening in the update. But there's just a ton of stuff that happens in the background that just makes the game better. Like, um, like uh, in, in 0 0.10, one of the big things was the, the all the sounds that were coming in and stuff like that. And... But there was a bunch of new visuals as well. There was a lot of placeholders that were replaced, and so like the out the outer buildings were talked about a lot. But it was only when the update actually came that the change log said, "Ooh, all the insurgents have been changed. Ooh, all of the circuits have been changed, and they look awesome now." They changed plastic twice in the 0.10 update series, which was interesting. But anyway, let's see how things are going down here. Do we have lights? We still don't have any lights, really. Hmm. And how is power going now? Has anything changed in that sense? Um, I'm not seeing any like extended periods where there's it's using the line at the top. What happened here? Was that when I was messing with the the power poles? No, that was too long ago. I don't know what it was. Science is still running. We're very close now. We've got a good supply of everything. It looks like well, not good for ver for much longer, but good enough to get to the end of 
advanced material processing. Oh, this is starting to build up now because the, the copper is building up. Excellent. But yeah, we should probably make a new steam column. And I should grab the mining drills for when I'm actually doing, like, adding them all in. I suppose I need a good four. One for the, the coal and then three for the iron. There we go. And that will continue to sap iron off the line for a very long time, not letting it get to, to anything behind it. It's annoying because we need conveyor belts. That's a point. We have six. We have six conveyor belts. Okay, panic now. Because we, we sort of need them for things. They're quite important. Let's just upgrade this now. That makes sense. Oh. Um, maybe we should let this run down. Mo yeah, no. No, we shouldn't because we're going to just build it. Yeah, there's the mining drills. Build it there. There we go. Perfect timing. Okay, we have advanced material processing. What should we work on next? In the meantime, don't need that. Not important right now. Nope. That would be useful. Maybe. Not yet, though. Tool belt. Uh, I really want it, but is it worth spending all that science? We could do oil. Are we ready for oil? Probably not. Okay, we'll just do the tool belt. No, that's in inserted. There we go. We need that, because I'm fed up of only having one bar. It's an absolute pain. Right, so this is not... Come on, come on, run down. Why, do, why is there suddenly no coal consumption? There we go. Okay, so we can shift this along now. I mean, I could have just picked it up, but that's the, the boring way of doing it. Um, can we... Oh, we can't quite reach, so I've messed up there. There we go. It's being produced on the same side as well. Right, so what we need to do now is to work out how to make these. So we need... Ah, we need bricks. Didn't think of that. In fact, that's all. We just need steel and bricks. So it's just sort of two next level things. And I forgot that this assembler is not fed by um, the coal supply. So whoops. But yeah, we need steel and bricks. So we need to... Can we connect to that? I suppose we can. Let's get a electric mining drill here. Bit much, but it means it gets mined quicker. And that's a good thing. Nice and symmetrical and, and stuff. Now, I never know where to put this. Put it back in there. Um, right. So this can go directly into a furnace um, and we'll put a thing like that and like that and then a if we're out of normal assemblers not assemblers inserters I don't want that many though put half of them back in there we go so do that and then I suppose do that we'll need a thing there and then we need that. Oh, and then we need conveyor belts. Ah. Right then. Well, I'll just run along here, grab all this, put it into conveyor belts. Half it will turn be turned to underground belts, but whatever. It's a flaw of the system that will be fixed one. Oh, now there is. Now there's belts. What happened? I guess they are managed to get down here finally. Well, I'll just wait for some more to be made. If I let's steal it from here as well. Oh, I missed. Yoink. Mine. You don't need it. Mine. I don't know how many I need, to be honest. That's probably enough. I've got a, a good 34 there. Run it along there a bit. Along here a bit. There we go. Nearly there. Actually, do we want it? No, we don't want a wooden chest. We only want a few of these, probably, at a time, anyway. Okay, furnace. Steel furnace, go. So the steel is going in. The bricks aren't because there's no coal in there. Now there is fixed. Um, and I'm going to run over to this and steal all of the coal from here because we need it now. And we can get back over here. Na -na. So there we go, bricks moving along. I don't, I don't usually have bricks on conveyors thinking about it. We need this for walls as well, that's a thing. Right, it's going in anyway. How many do we need? Ten. 
it's so slow because we don't have steel furnaces and we need those to make it not slow. How infuriating. But soon, soon. Come on. Nine. Ten. Go, go, go. Build. Mine. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is upgrade this thing because it's driving me mad. I'm assuming that the limiting factor is the the furnace, but actually now looking at it, I think the limiting factor is the mining drill. So yeah, we'll get a, a, a temporarily boosted supply, which I suppose is good enough. And then I suppose we might be we could swap it back even. Oh, I see power going yellow. No. Is that a new thing, the power going yellow? Because I don't remember it doing that before. It's really convenient because if you like go to 99% power, you can see that that's happened because it's it's visible. It doesn't seem to be too bad still. Like if it is going to, to maximum power usage, it's like for a second, really. If we go to, uh, you can see it here. It actually goes above its maximum power usage for a second because the temperature is like at 100% but then once it's being used fully the temperature drops slightly because that's how it works which is sort of cool so you can have your, your steam power um, like provide much more than it's well not much a little bit more than it's usually capable of for a second but if it you, it tries to do it over a long period of time it gets ruined ah this is filled up because I wasn't paying attention but what we now have is some steel furnaces yay double the production we might even need to put some fast inserters on that and then we can grab the next ones as they come out I really need that toolbar which is why we're working on it so yeah come on oh is the steel all oh, the steels run out Ooh. I don't know why I keep putting it into my inventory to immediately take it out again I'm not thinking this through this could be the last one for a bit because steel production needs to do things and stuff also, as I upgrade all these, they're going to start taking all of the iron, so there's not going to be any for the steel production. So let's do the next thing of putting in more mining drills. Um, we can put one here. Put it like that. And then connect it up in both ways. And then we have another one here. Let's work out where to shoehorn this. I'm doing this in the stupid awkward way that I that I've done previously as well. Where it's it's an absolute mess. It works, but it's still an absolute mess, which is really annoying. And if I rebuilt rebuilt it it would be different, but I haven't. So it's like this. It's just a mess of each one gets added on and hopefully it works. But we're out of mining drills again, but it I think that's enough. That is yeah, that's that's six. So that should provide for them all, but that's assuming certain things which are not necessarily true because the the stuff gets smelted slightly quicker than it gets mined, so that means this one on the end will be switched off for some of the time. Which is a problem because until it switches on we can't get any more steel. Um, what we need to do is get another mining drill so that we can keep that going at full pelt. We'll just grab the one for now because I don't know if there's anything else we're going to be mining very soon.